A teenager bitten by a shark on the Jersey Shore walks away with only cuts to her feet, but we all know sh all shark bite victims are not that lucky. CBS 2's Christine Sloan tells us about the precautions you can take to stay safe in the water. With beach season right around the corner, this teen's story of surviving a shark bite while surfing down the Jersey Shore in Stone Harbor has got some thinking twice before taking a dip in the ocean. I go in the water when it's low tide and I go in further when I'm with my husband. Shark attacks are extremely rare. In fact, an organization that tracks them says the odds are 1 in 11 million. We're not in their food chain, so if you think about the stuff that we eat and then what a fish eats, uh, we don't really taste good to them. Taylor Hartle is a supervisor of sharks and rays at Jenkinson's Aquarium in Point Pleasant Beach, where there is a variety of shark species, from this sand tiger shark affectionately named Swage, that's jaws backwards, to Junior, a nurse shark who cohabitates just fine with others. Hartle says there are many reasons for rare, unprovoked shark attacks. If you're by yourself and you're not with like a group of of other people, um, you could look like a little uh, a seal or a sea turtle, which is a classic uh, food item for a shark. Hartle recommends swimming in groups and avoiding what sharks are attracted to, like bright colors and shiny objects like jewelry. She also suggests not swimming by where people fish and looking for signs before entering the water. The fish will actually do like what's called like a bait ball, um, and you'll see a fish jumping around. I thought I was going to have to get my foot amputated, but. It was didn't end up being that bad. This teen grateful it wasn't much worse, but experts again caution shark bites like this are very uncommon, and the best thing you can do to stay safe is to use common sense in the water. In Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News.